Alrighty, good uh, afternoon everybody. So today is the day we start working on the frame swap for our or my third gen 4Runner. So we have our donor vehicle here. This is a 2000 uh, Toyota 4Runner limited 4x4 yada yada rear locker multi-mode transfer case and if you can't tell reason this is a frame swap donors because this was rolled so this body is junk some stuff stripped out of the interior already um the guy i got it from must have got it from auction and he tore some stuff out of it for parts and i bought it for the frame because it was a i believe it was a north carolina truck for most of its life and came up to the Rust Belt like two years ago. So it's only seen like one and a half winters. Um, it runs amazing. It's got 300,000 on it, but it runs great. It honestly runs better than my 98, which um, this thing runs like a top. I mean, no complaints at all. But the issue with this, yeah there and there's a couple other spots so those that frame is done so i'm gonna frame swap here this one has a lift on it has a ome three inch lift on it and some other good stuff it's got some 31 inch tires i believe is what these are i was thinking going 33s but we'll see i might actually just end up using these i didn't like them at first but they're growing on me um yeah i'll have to swap the dash because for the indicators for the multi-mode transfer case and i'll probably have to swap the computer and a couple other things electronics for the rear diff lock and whatnot um i'll swap one of these tail lights for the other body um trying to think if there's anything else Yeah, so this one's got 270, 270,000 on it. Um, yeah, the seat's pretty torn up. I have the radio out of it because I was originally going to sell it until I found that. Um, yeah. These tires are in good shape. They're just getting old. So we'll see how long I end up running those, but my grandma's gracious enough to let me do this in her pole barn and she'll be gone basically all this week so i'll have this whole area to myself plenty big enough to do a frame swap um so yeah i started just getting all the bolts loose on this 2000 um my buddy's gonna help me get my cherry picker out here we're gonna chuck it in the back of his truck to get it out here because um i'm gonna use that to help lift the body off um yeah so if you're watching this to see how easy this is to do just remember if you're going to try and do it like i am i'm not liable for any injuries or damages to anything that happens it's all on you because this may get sketchy hopefully not as bad as others i've seen but i don't have a lift so this is how we're going to do it so I'm going to get all these loose, and they are just to a front. There's here, there, there, and in the back, right here. And that's where we're going to start, and then we're just going to start doing electronics, um, heat and AC. Um, yeah, and we will just go from there. All right, so a quick tip at the, on these body mounts. Um, so sometimes they'll start to spin on you. They kind of latch into a little groove. Um, yeah, I think it was this one that's giving me issues. Just pull down on it, like with the washer, the rubber mount that's on the bottom. It'll stay latched in there, and you can get it unscrewed. Uh, I broke one of these on the back corner, but I don't care because those are with the body and not the frame. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna get under the hood, start undoing electronics and the shifter and 
all that fun stuff. All right, so it's been a few hours and I've got some more stuff out. I don't think I had that out last time I talked to you guys. So I'm actually, so I don't have to like drain all the coolant and make a mess in here. I can actually leave the radiator with the frame. So there's just four bolts up here, uh, here, there, and then two more on this side. And it just pulls away. Um, undid the AC line here that came through here and the one from the body there. Um, brake lines got a little tricky, so not all of them would come loose. So instead of breaking them, I was able to pull this one is for the that wheel. Um, just shimmy it so when the body comes up, it's not going to rip it off. And just bent it out of the way. That one, I disconnect the whole block. Um, and then underneath the rear brake, brake line, this fuel line wouldn't come loose and it wouldn't underneath either. So I'm just going to try and shimmy the body around that. Um, that's pretty straightforward underneath and like the fuel tank um, as well. Just undo that and the electronics. So take the carpet up. There's a plug here. So your fuel pump. And then this is for probably ABS and um, one of these somewhere in there is for the uh, rear locker, I believe. Um yeah um undo the heater core there throttle cable cruise any connections that connect this so um it's actually pretty simple to undo the computer come in here you open your glove box and there's two screws that hold the glove box hinges on take those out glove box will pull out and then there's this thing that sits up in here there's three bolts um one here and two up here and that comes out and your computer will be right up in here and this big connector you undo those and then these two uh, you probably can't see that but there's two plugs on there and there pull out and you can slowly pull it through the firewall um i undid all these bolts and pulled the little things out so the rubber could pull underneath so this sh and i undid the shifter underneath um so this should lift right off i unplugged the little button oh uh, what else made sure just random crap underneath like the e-brake cable is loose um yeah, I think there's some other stuff I'm going to steal off this thing, like the passenger auto window. Uh, this had a, a lumbar switch in it because apparently mine, the switch disappeared. So I put it on there and it works. I took the rear headrest because mine were gone. Um, and just there's just tons of wiring sitting in this thing. The guy I got it from told me the previous owner um, was going to put a remote mount winch in it. So there's like relays and little wire and big wire and speaker wire i guess he had an amp in it too so i don't score um yeah and i'll probably run these tires for a bit just because they're a little bigger once we get to winter if i don't have any new ones yet i'll uh, definitely run the uh toyos because those have a ton of tread on them they did pretty good in the snow so yeah that's where we're at now so my buddy's gonna help me. We're gonna use his pickup, shove my cherry picker and some stands and stuff in the back of his truck to get it out here to my grandma's place. So first thing tomorrow morning, I can get out here and yank this body off. Just check everything over, make sure the frame is straight. Um, and just check everything, start sanding it down to get it painted. And while stuff is drying, um, I need to change that valve cover. Um, I'll take this one off, do the valve cover gaskets. I have gaskets for the plenum. And if I have time, I'll clean those up and hit them with some paint. Let's make it look pretty. And then we'll get to taking this one apart. Yeah. So this one I won't care so much about just cause stuff, I'll just kind of throw it together. Um, 
it'll probably end up just being trailer trailer around so it doesn't have to be uh yeah so that is day one of the uh forerunner third gen frame swap you're on video <laughs> all right time to bring all this stuff over to grandma's oh, i gotta put a flag on that but this is kind of how we're doing it it's all strapped down though these aren't going anywhere so you can use this truck and get it over there all right so we just about got out we're gonna open the door and pull it out goldilocks is standing over there <laughs> so it doesn't get much more sketch than this don't do this no, this is kind of what I had to deal with. I definitely should have talked to my buddy who said I could use his lift. Yeah, but it's an old four by six or something and tray picker in the back. I almost got it rolled out. So I'm gonna open the door, roll her out and probably roll it in next to it and try and get this down so we don't die. All right, got it rolled out here. Um, yeah, everything looks good. Frame looks straight. Um, a little greasy, but not bad. Definitely not as bad as my 98. We'll be using this. We'll be leaving this. We're literally doing this again. Maybe less sketchy, hopefully. I'll probably have to do a difference so I don't hurt that body because it definitely didn't help this one, but this one was already tweaked. So, yeah, we're going to get this power washed, then we're going to sand it and paint it. Um, just to keep from the rust, and then once the paint's dry, probably next week I'll undercoat it. Um, yeah. So, then I'll have to see what kind of electronics we'll have to switch, and I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I got to put the rear springs and lift and stuff in because the guy just threw stock ones back in it after it was wrecked because I guess the rear end just said later. This is fine. It's a lot better than mine, so. Well, my other one, sorry. But yeah, so this is what we're looking at. Here's our rear locker. I have to figure out how this electronics for that work because, yeah. What is this? ABS? Yeah. So, I'll get back to you in a bit. You know, it's power washing. It's cleaning up good. Yeah, so that's all the really need to take apart if you're just doing a frame swap on like a same year vehicle. But problem is, that's a 98 and that's a 2000. And this has the rear E locker, which the rest of it would probably be fine but i think the computer's a little different so i gotta swap the computer because i took the whole engine harness and everything and i'm taking the multi-mode trench case and so i got the dash out of that one and so this has the indicators for the uh multi-mode case so i gotta tear the whole dash harness out and try and figure out um uh because i want that so I'm trying to figure out what all I need. So I just kind of went back here where these go back. So these are the connectors that go back there. To the pump. This comes up front. So I'm just kind of tearing this all apart. <clears throat> Cause I think I'm just scrapping this thing. I was going to keep it for parts or try and sell it for parts, but yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out what all I need. And once I figure it out, I'll try to get back to you guys.